Christmas playlist every year. Different genres, either jazz or swing or modern rock or whatever. But this last one, it was country, I think, which led her, my wife, Malia, to say, um, well, you should do a Christmas album. I'm dreaming of a white Christmas just like the ones I used to know. Before this, became a Christmas album. There was still an intention of doing a straight, normal studio album with no deadline. We were working on something that thought had no real shape. We'd just collate material until we had enough to put out an album. And then it started to morph into the Christmas thing. I started just scouring the internet and iTunes and everything for a specific Christmas song. And and in, in the process of doing that, I actually combed through Christmas compilations. And there would be different things, like, like including Bing Crosby and Frank Sinatra. You'd also have Slade, do you know what I mean? Or it would just be from one end to the other. I'd be home for the holidays, thinking I'd stay away. And oh no. During the process of combing to find songs, I found that Anthony Hamilton had done a Christmas album. I looked at Anthony's album and just thought, well, there's two songs here for sure that anyone could do because they're such great songs in themselves. So we could do any old arrangement of these songs and they'd still sound great. The point was, it wasn't that. You still had to come back to his version for the inspiration and try to, to a certain extent, imitate it to make it as good. Have yourself a merry little Christmas. And the first thing I think we did was have yourself a merry little Christmas. We have a friend called Walt Richmond. He's a great musician, great arranger, great uh, piano player. And I asked him uh, if he could work out a part for Have Yourself a Merry Little Christmas that would be in a different kind of mode, more of a a sort of pub swing, kind of funky kind of thing. And he sent me that, like uh, a, a track. First, we had to work out what's the best key to sing it in. We went through all of that. And so we really, I think, I remember we started um, playing with that. And I think at that point, it was starting to become a reality. I wanted a house track. I was inspired by Avicii and terrible that he would die so young, you know. And I worry, that makes me worried about the current generation of musicians. They get, you know, they're gonna get swept away with different substances or lifestyles and everything with no real guidance. And I thought, well, I, you know, it'd be nice to have something to, you know, pay respect to his talent. But I remember Dylan, did the artwork for music from Big Pink. And he painted the cover. And I thought, this is such great art. And the, you know, and we know now that Dylan is a fantastic artist, but yeah. as much as he is, and he's a great painter and sculptor. And I, you know, and, and I was inspired by that to do this. And I did it on a piece of hotel stationery. Well, this has also taken a lifetime of Christmas experiences, the value of Christmas, Christmas music. I'm living in a dream world and dying a little more each day. Christmas for me is snow, a roaring fire, a few chestnuts knocking about, and a huge turkey. My wife is an incredible cook, so she will lay on the best Christmas lunch and a perfect treat. I mean, you know, all the classic things. Sleigh bells out in the atmosphere, keeping the spirit alive. So we've done the album, and now I think, well, I may, I may not even need to make a playlist this coming year. 
we've got we've got our Christmas entertainment. Yeah, again, the thing is, the way I like to make all all of our music, we do it for ourselves. I do it for me, and if I'm satisfied with what we've done. I don't really, I mean, maybe this is not the right thing to say, but I don't care if anybody else likes it. If they do, that's icing on the cake. But for me, I've, I've done something I'm really proud of. And this album is like that, this I really believe in. You're just like Christmas. Everyone can see from the toys and the shoes.